Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Piyush Sachdeva and I'm back again with another exciting video. But this time it's going to be a different video that I normally do. I have been receiving so many requests from everywhere to share my interview experience with Google. Therefore here I am and I'm going to walk you through my journey on how I landed a job at Google as a cloud technical solutions developer. So let's get started. Until a few months back, I didn't even dare to apply for Google because when we hear about interviewing at Google, we hear data structures, algorithm, system design, coding, and many big, big words. So I never applied to Google. One day out of the blue, a recruiter reached out to me over LinkedIn and shared uh, with me this amazing opportunity with Google Cloud. I was more afraid than excited. So I told him clearly that I don't have those expertise and I don't think I'm a suitable fit for this role. But uh, even then he shared me with the, with the job description and I was amazed to look at it. It was all those things that I have either worked with or learned by myself. So I thought of giving it a shot and rest is history. So I would like to share my experience, my learning path and things that worked out for me. First and foremost, a standout LinkedIn or GitHub profile. Follow people over LinkedIn who have similar skill set to yours or someone who is your inspiration or someone with expertise in your field. For instance, if you want to be a successful solution architect, look for the people who are working in the similar position, browse their LinkedIn profile and see how they have transitioned from one role to another or one company to another. They might have attained certain skills recently in their job or by self-learning. See what certifications have they acquired in recent year and what language, tools or technologies have they learned recently. Add them as your connection, talk to them and see if they can guide you in following a similar career path. Second thing that worked well for me was working experience, self-learning and professional certifications. So I have been working with the AWS and Azure Cloud for past few years along with DevOps and Agile practices. Well, uh, I started my career with Accenture India as a production support analyst. So I have been working with uh, Unix and shell scripting for past 10 years, but this role didn't require hardcore coding experience. However, scripting experience is a must. Plus uh, you should be able to troubleshoot the code. Make sure you read it out loud while doing the troubleshooting and dry run the code. Moreover, I have gained numerous cloud and DevOps certifications in past couple of years, which helped me elevate my skill set. Many skills I have learned on the job, while many of them I learned by myself. So idea is to keep yourself up to date with the market, keep learning, keep experimenting and keep challenging yourself. Now, when you stop learning is when you stop growing. The third thing that worked out well for me was my knowledge of computer fundamentals. So when you are applying for a job in companies like Amazon, Google, Microsoft, your fundamentals should be strong. Make sure you go through them and understand these concepts in depth. The next thing that worked out well for me was my community contribution. So I also enhanced my skills by contributing to the open source community. How did I do that? Uh, by creating blogs on websites like medium.com, reddit.com and LinkedIn and also by creating step-by-step -step tutorial videos on YouTube and making them freely available to anyone. I also got accepted into AWS Community Builder program for my contribution towards AWS community in 2021. So these steps will help you in so many ways. You would have a strong profile and you will learn new tools and technologies day by day. You will help people like yourself to achieve their dreams and you would be recognized in the community. If you are a developer, you can also contribute to the open source projects by creating pull requests. Or if you are a beginner in programming and scripting language, I'd suggest you to check out Lead Code or Code Chef to build your skill set. The next thing is Googliness and leadership. So there are 10 leadership principles of Google that you should be aware of if you are applying for Google or if you have upcoming interviews at Google. So I'll put down the link in the description section below about the Googliness and leadership philosophies. The next is, and this is really important one. So keep yourself motivated. Life has its own up and downs, but that shouldn't stop you in your journey. Keep yourself motivated and surround yourself with the people that motivates you, that believes in you and those who are there for you. So 
it's all about having that positive vibes and positive energy around you that person could be your family member your friends your colleagues your mentor or anyone that believes in you and inspired you in one or more ways you know sometimes people criticize you to make you feel bad just ignore those people you don't want that negative energy in your life but remember this you don't have to show them what you are capable of but you have to prove this to yourself it should be you versus you so those were the things that i have been doing for past few years and have worked really well for me so tell me in the comment section below what have worked out for you or what would you like uh, me to add to this list now let me briefly share my interview experience with google so there were uh, six round in total first round was with hr where he asked some basic questions about my knowledge and experience then i had uh, four back to back interviews round of one hour each and there was a break of 10 minutes in between each of those the first round was purely technical a lot of questions were asked by the interviewer the second was a mix of managerial behavioral and technical the third round was about googliness and leadership in the fourth round there were some technical questions and a code snippet was given in the coding language of my choice that i have selected before and i had to debug the code and fix the issues without running it so then after few days another interview was scheduled which is called a team matching round in this uh, you would get a chance to have an informal discussion with your future manager to better understand the roles and responsibilities you can ask a lot of questions about the role and if you think that you shouldn't be joining this particular team for any reason whatsoever then you can always reach out to your recruiter to match up with a different team so this round is applicable to most of the roles in google unless you are specifically interviewed for a particular position in a particular team finally i had the salary discussion with the recruiter and then i become a noogler noogler a noogler is a new googler google sent me a hat after the orientation and my one year old daughter is wearing it with pride a point to remember is even though there were a lot of questions that would be asked in all of the rounds combined but they don't expect you to answer all of them you still have a chance if you weren't able to solve a specific problem or task you will be judged based on your overall performance in all the interviews combined i hope this video was helpful to you and have enjoyed it unfortunately i cannot share the questions that were asked in the interview due to the non disclosure agreement that i have signed but i have tried to cover almost everything else that i could share I would like to thank the entire LinkedIn and YouTube community that always supported me and provided me valuable feedback from time to time since the day I started publishing my videos. It wouldn't have been possible without your love and support so thank you very much for that. If you like the video please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment. If you have any questions for me I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching I'll be back soon with another exciting video. Have a good day guys.